splices, wind load, dead load anchors, and curtain wall systems. Welcome to Building Knowledge 101. In this video, we explore splices, wind load, and dead load anchors and curtain wall systems, the features of each, and how all three allow for movement while maintaining the integrity of the overall building envelope. Since curtain wall is intended to span past floor lines, it needs to have the capacity to splice vertical extrusions together. Multi-floor elevations require multiple extrusions to be spliced one on top of the other to continue up an elevation. Splices join two sections of vertical moyas together, maintaining continuity of the building envelope while allowing for vertical deflection. As a curtain wall spans past floor lines, it needs to be anchored back to each for support. There are two types of anchors utilized to support curtain wall elevations. The first is a wind load anchor. Typically, these are located at every other floor and provide resistance to wind load deflection. The anchor is slotted, allowing the vertical, allowing vertical deflection to the slab behind the elevation. The second type is a dead load anchor. This anchor transfers the load of the elevation back to the structure supporting the floor slab. This anchor has clear holes to hard fasten the mullions back to the slab. As the slab deflects, the mullions move with it. The splice absorbs the vertical movement between the sections of the verticals. All three of these work together to allow movement while maintaining the integrity of the building envelope. Here's an example, an elevation drawing that includes a midpoint anchor supporting the elevation. Because of this, we can use a six inch deep system as opposed to the deeper mullion on the previous elevation. Curtain walls are designed to accommodate midpoint anchors where a storefront is not. In this photo, you can see the anchor extending from the beam alongside each of the verticals and secured with a through bolt through. Exposed anchors such as these are painted to match the surround and do not stand out. The proper use of anchors allows curtain walls to continue to ex extend up an ele exterior elevation while maintaining the building envelope. As you get higher on an elevation, the wind load increases. Here we have ribbon elevations in a punched opening. If you looked at one of these punched openings as an individual standalone elevation, it would resemble a storefront. On the second, third, or fourth floor of the building, these could be storefronts. On this project, because of the height of the building, the wind load up higher would overload the capacity of a storefront. Even though it's within the plane of the building, the verticals have limited spans, slab to slab. Because of where it's being used on the building, it needs to be a curtain wall. That is all we have time for in this video. If you'd like to watch more of our 101 video series, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Conair Company, Inc.